been warned. We'll talk mm -hmm. to you in a few. Thanks, Emily. Well, when the pandemic hit last year, we worried about the virus and the health of our family and friends. Something else that nobody even thought to think about early on was the absolute mess that the unemployment system would become. First, people out of work suffered crushing financial problems, but then thousands of Kentuckians had their identities used to make fraudulent claims. Much of the unemployment fraud has been blamed on an antiquated computer system, and critics have pointed to the rush to approve claims quickly and get the money in the hands of the people. Regardless of how it happened, it can be panic-inducing if someone files in your name. That happened to me, and all I could think of was, what do I do now? Tonight, I take an in-depth look and get some answers. Nobody likes getting an unexpected email titled unemployment from HR. But when I opened this one a few weeks ago, I was more than puzzled. I was scared. Either I was out of a job or somebody else was claiming to be me and asking for an unemployment check in my name. Anyone that has had this happen is going to be alarmed. How did they get my information? Because it does call for a lot of personal information in order to even file for unemployment. Precious information. We've always been warned to guard closely. Your birthday, social security number, maybe your driver's license number, all of it out there somewhere with somebody's greedy hands all over it. How the con artists are getting it, who knows? It's anybody's guess. I would say just to stay calm, this is a very common occurrence. The folks here at LEX 18 denied the unemployment request pretty quickly. That part was easy, but what worried me most was what could happen next. Lindsay Hicks is a spokesperson for the state attorney general's office. Identity theft occurs every day. Um, we've received thousands of reports of it, and there are steps to take to mitigate it and make sure that it doesn't become a bigger problem. The Attorney General is investigating some claims. The Office of Unemployment is handling most. The feds are even looking into some cases. Some of the crooks may be brought to justice, but unfortunately, the agency says much of this begins overseas. So what do I do now? Don't panic. Take your steps. First, I was told, act fast. But now it's a matter of mitigating it so it doesn't cause any damage to you or your credit record. A good place to start is a website set up for this exact problem. We'll give you all these links in a minute. I just want to show you where to start. This link on the state unemployment insurance website takes you to a form to fill out. You are the claimant. The fairly short form gets your name red flagged, so to speak, so the state knows you've been targeted. Then the state says it's important to notify your employer. In my case, they already knew. File a police report. I saw conflicting advice on this. Other sites say go to the police only if the thief takes more action, like trying to apply for a credit card in your name. I did not go to the police. If you do, hang on to the police report in case you need it down the road. File a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC, identitytheft.gov. Even after doing all that, it didn't feel adequate to me. I wanted to take more action. Heather Clary with the Better Business Bureau had this advice. Monitor your credit report. This is good news. Because of the pandemic, the three reporting agencies allow you to check your credit for free once a week. But what you're looking for are instances of unauthorized activity that you don't recognize. I never had that loan. I never had that credit card. If you see something on there that is not you, then you have the right by law to dispute it with that credit reporting agency, and then they will look into it and remove it if it is indeed incorrect. All of this was very scary to me. So I also purchased ID theft alert from my bank, a few dollars a month that could save me a lot of headaches down the road. And more advice, keep documents on everything you do, copies of police reports or emails. Just remember, the best way to protect yourself is to be diligent. Anywhere you have money or credit, keep a close eye on it.